So Tom Larry, Superintendent Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. Going to get you some information here in less than five minutes, but I want you to make, the, make you aware of a few things going on here. Uh, next week we have golf, boys golf at North Cedar at 4 o'clock, and girls golf at home. One sure sign of spring is when the golf course is open and golf clubs start swinging there. So our teams are going at it already. Tuesday we have a track at Edco. Thursday we have track at Tipton, and also we have boys and girls golf uh, once again at Cal Wheat on the 8th. So kind of getting into that spring season, which is a great thing for all of us. Hopefully the weather cooperates with everybody and everything like that. I want to take a moment just to share a book with you uh, t today, The Innovator's Mindset uh, by George Curls. Um, I'm going to read you a part here about failures, and sometimes we have to look at, you know, it's not simply like I mentioned many times about what the book says or textbook, but sometimes we have to try things and sometimes we have to fail. Uh, failure is how we learn, uh, but we also don't want to fail all the time either. You want to keep working and develop, develop that attitude of I can make something happen and I can do something. Talk about a vacuum clean inventor named James Dyson. Uh, he, he was an inventor of the Dyson vacuum. Dyson spent 15 years creating 5,126 versions that failed before he had one that worked. Trying, failing, and trying again were definitely part of this process. But the reality of this story is that no one would even mention James Dyson if he hadn't succeeded in the end. How many other vacuum inventors can you name? Maybe one or two. But how many vacuum inventors can you name who never success successfully got a vacuum on the market? Well, that number would be zero. Ha having the freedom to fail is important to innovation, but even more important to the process are the traits of resiliency and grit. Resiliency, which we talk about a lot here, keeping at things, is ultimately the ability to come back after a defeat or unsuccessful attempt. Grit is resolve or strength of character. These two characteristics uh, need to be continuously developed as we look for new and better ways to serve our students. So um, it, it's very important to allow kids that opportunity to learn, opportunity to apply information, opportunity to try some new information here in school, and to give them opportunities to keep improving what they're doing. That's what we're really looking for. It's not the initial grade, but it's the grade afterwards. It's the learning afterwards, the learning through the process and everything like that. So I just want everyone to remember that as we're looking in the next year already, looking at schedules and classes, looking at creating some new opportunities for students. We have the Bellevue Big Program already, obviously in the high school, where students can uh, pursue their passion, uh, study whatever they want. We have some of those going on at the elementary level, at the middle school, high school level as well. And classes, we're looking now to expand the Bellevue Big out into some aspects where they can get American history credit, credit through it or American government credit through it. Also looking at countering that with some also, in addition to that social studies credit, getting some English credit or math credit or some other area. But then also looking at bringing it to the middle school lightly uh, as we go in there with some things like that. So we're getting more and more things where students are applying their learning, are creating, uh, and just ultimately coming up with ideas of their own. So as we move forward, we'll continue to have more and more about that. And as the sign says behind me, are we creating chefs or cooks up there? Uh, we want to create those chefs that are creating something that way, not just simply following step to step that very linear mood. We want to be moving forward uh, in a way that is progressive that way. Uh, ed reform is out there, education reform. Uh, we want things that are engaging, uh, that people can truly work at, enjoy, and tie those to their real lives and make it relevant. So everyone have a great week. One other thing, remember our next day off of school is Friday, April 29th. We have a professional learning that day for staff. But everyone have a great day, a great week.